July 10, 2010 na maganap ang huling laban ng ating kababayan na si Nonito the Filipino Flash Dunaire sa Super Flyweight Division kung saan makakaharap niya ang hard-hitting Mexican boxer na tinaguri ang Tyson ng Mexico na si Hernan Marquez. Introducing the hard-hitting challenger presentando al retador Hernan Tyson Marquez! Sa labang iyon ay dedepensahan ni Dunaire ang kanyang interim WBA Super Flyweight World Title sa ikalawang pagkakataon. Ang laban ng dalawa ay ginanap sa San Juan, Puerto Rico kung saan ito nga ang co-main event ng laban ng Juan Malopez vs. Bernabe Concepcion. Bago ang kanilang bakbakan ay may impresibong kartada noon si Hernan Marquez na 27 wins, 1 loss at may 20 KO. Habang ang ating kababayan naman na si Nonito Dunaire ay may record noong 23 wins, 1 loss at may 15 KO. Sa unang round ay nagpalitan agad ng malalakas na suntok ang dalawa. Prior to it, he was undefeated and he lost a 10-round decision versus lefty Richie McFranham. Oh, a beautiful right hand by Donaire. And that backed up. And, you know, Marquez felt... Straight left hand by Donaire. Ooh, another, another one. Now ah, Marquez, he lands with a short right hook. Oh, well... The WBA Superfly weight interim world champion Nonito Donaire and Gold gone with Rudy Perez. It's uh, most of his three of the four fights against Barrera, and he feels that's going to help him. And um, Perez said there, Donaire very keep that distance. Donaire, born in the Philippines, raised, and that's the end. Donaire, who says that he has had some problems. Weighed in at 114 and a half, and very interesting. Donate. Yeah, and you know, his, what we saw who takes a very uh, active role in his career. Vetted him by talk. I buy from GNC myself. It is self back in 2007 when he not of the perfect punch. Sugar Ray Robinson used to punch, and that was a fight in which there's an uppercut from Donaire, and he, he it's because he leaves himself open. Of course, they, you know, Donaire ain't gets past Marquez. Done. Marquez going to the body. Ooh, nice straight left hand by Marquez. Stonair. Left hand landing, followed by a nice stiff right jab. Closing moments of the third round. Ooh, a left. Flush on the chin by Donaire. Ah, these guys are starting to mix it up. Hernan Marquez. And Marquez is a good fighter. He's taking advantage of those moments. And he is landing more on there right now. Ooh. Donaire, left hand, though, has been very effective as he counter punches. And he's been looping it. And being a lefty. If he was a righty, there's no way. With the left hand by Donaire. The punches he's landing now, but Donaire's having a very early throw. And he's fighting short. See that left? Donaire keeping that right hand awfully low. The big left hand's in this round. He's closed the distance. Here's a good... This is probably been the best round of the fight, ironically, for Donaire. Even though he told us that he's afraid. Archinian ducking it. Time, time. In gold, taking on 21-year-old Hernan Marquez. Donaire, the champion has not been as sharp. And how about this? Pressure is scoring. Uh, Achilles Castaneda from TV Azteca in Mexico, uh, 39-38, and uh, we've got, they've got it for Marquez. Now, Donaire turns over to the other side. Yep. He does it in the fifth round. He's back to fighting as a righty. Nice body shot, though, by Marquez. Two of the judges, uh, and I want to mention Ray Colon, also from the Puerto Rico paper, and Marvin Fonseca from the International News Agency. Two of the judges actually had... Ooh, nice left hook by Donaire. Marquez in trouble trying to hold on, and Donaire nails him. 
Matapos tamaan ng left hook ay nayanig si Marquez at hindi nga nagtagal ay bumagsak na ito. in another mode though he's in the I want to get enough in the crowd right hand landing I Marquez starting to fight with it left hook right hand oh a beautiful left uppercut and it sends Marquez down matapos tamaan ng left uppercut ay muling bumagsak si Marquez at doon nga ay itinigil na ang laban Matapos manalo kay Hernan Marquez ay umakyat na sa bantamweight division si Donaire kung saan nagawa nga nitong maging unified WBC at WBO World Champion matapos nitong inakout si Fernando Montiel. Bago tayo matapos ay shoutout muna sa ating mga tagapanood. Hanggang dito na lang mga boss. Sana nagustuhan nyo ang ating video. Salamat sa panonood.